sparkly. As you can see in the title, this is going to be a question and answer video. So, um, I've been getting like a lot of questions. I put a question thing on Instagram. If you are not following my Instagram, please go follow it now. I'm dropping it right here. Um, and yeah, my followers had really, really good questions. So we're just going to hop right into it. I am a week post up today. Um, my life is pretty boring. Can't drive, can't sit, can't do anything. I went to get a massage today, had someone take me into, someone went to the grocery store for me. But that's about it, I can't do anything. I'm not gonna lie, it's driving me crazy. But anyway, oh, and if you're wondering, I'm not sitting, I'm actually sitting backwards. My, my, the pressure is on my thighs, my inner thighs, kind of how I sat on the toilet. And um, I'm able to do that because I didn't get any fat injected into the bottom part of my butt, just the top and the sides. So no pressure is on me. Anyway, let's get into these questions. Where did you go? As I stated in, oh my gosh, I stated in all, every surgery video, I stated in all, you know, I stated it before the video, I said it after the video. I went to New Life plastic surgery Miami y'all ask me this every single day and I try to make it easy I put it in the description bar I put it on the actual video I say it in the actual video I just don't understand um new life plastic surgery Miami Florida Dr. Simmons pain level during massage um the very first one was painful obviously it was 24 hours after I got surgery and the pain level during that one was about a seven honestly it wasn't that bad i don't know it yes it does hurt but i don't know why it didn't hurt that bad like right now i'm still i still i'm getting my massages at home uh like here in st petersburg and they hurt but it's not that bad it's very bearable i don't know like oh no so now my massages my pain level is about a five maybe four it's really not that bad how was your second round slash is the second round more or less painful um the second like, like i said before the second round is more painful than the first one um the lipo that is this is my first round bbl second round lipo but the lipo the, the second go round was really bad uh i don't know i just could feel everything like I don't know. It was, yeah, it was, it was bad. How are you feeling? Um, I was actually asked this maybe three days ago when I was four days post up. Um, but even now, I feel fine. Um, I just get really uncomfortable sometimes. I try my best to wear my boards and foams to, to try to keep um, making like faha lines. But then sometimes the foams and boards leave lines too. And it's kind of too early for me to be making marks on my skin because they could possibly stay there if I don't take care of that. Um, I did order a booty bean bag, inflatable bed. It's like the inflatable with a hole in it that's coming on Tuesday. I cannot wait. Then I can start sleeping on my back. And then I can be more comfortable. But right now, I find a way to get comfortable. Even when I put pillows under my knees, my knees still hurt. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. It's annoying. But... Pain wise, I'm fine. It's just so uncomfortable and it's kind of frustrating trying to like do all my normal stuff. Sometimes I get in the car with my family and I gotta be in the back seat. All, like, oh, that's just tiring. It's frustrating. But other than that, I'm okay. When will you be able to sit on that ass again? <laughs> so technically, you're not supposed to sit. You you can you can start sitting on your BBL pillow slash Bobby pillow at four weeks, and then you can start sitting. Period at eight to ten weeks. But like I said, being that I didn't get any fat injected to the bottom, I sit on my BBL pillow as needed. Like sometimes I absolutely have to drive to my massage and I just go there and back and I use my BBL pillow and a bobby pillow at my back or a back pillow as my back, at my back and um, make it do what it do. But you're technically not supposed to sit at all 
until four weeks. Then you can sit on the pillows and then at eight to 10 weeks you can sit, period. Would you do it again? Hell no. How supportive was your family with your decision to do round two? Everybody was very supportive. Like there was no question about it. They did say that, um, I'm not saying I didn't take care of it last time, but they kind of mentioned to me, like, kind of like being that, you know, I'm the one paying for it and all the other stuff. And I already went through it once to just, you know, just, just take care, basically take care of it, you know, take care of it this time and take better care of it this time, I should say, because you're not going back. They always say I'm not going back, which I ain't going back anyway, because like I said, I'm not doing it again. But everybody, was, they were very, uh, they were supportive. I never, they never were not supportive. Like, I don't know. Um, how much was everything total? Um, that reminds me, I have a whole other video to do about that. <laughs> um, the lipo 360 with BBL for my doctor was 25, I mean, 4,500. And then, um, I got a partial package. I didn't get the full package. I only got one massage and you, and I got the Faha that they put you in and that's it. So all together, it was 4728, $4,728 total. Plus the $100 COVID test when you get there. So that's 4828. And um, yeah, but that's not including post-op care, meaning fajas, massages, um, phone, well, I already had phones and boards, but phones and boards, uh, BBL pillows, bobby pillows, all of that stuff. But um, y'all know I'm a bargain shopper. I get, I, you know, I ain't spend that much. I'll, but I'll go into detail with that, uh, with my other video that I keep, I keep forgetting to drop, to film and drop. Um, but yeah, and that's gonna go over prices for everything. Um, difference between lats. I'm gonna assume you mean difference between like lats and hips. Um, I'm gonna insert a picture right here so you can see. Lats is more of um, fat, more at the top part of your hip, making it see, making it where it, you can kind of see your butt from the front of you. And then hips is more of that. You know, so lats kind of go like this and then hips just kind of like that. What made you get surgery? Why not a personal trainer? Um, and it's funny that you ask that because my dad is actually a personal trainer and he's a efficient one. Like before my mom was able to even get her tummy tuck, she, she lost like 50 pounds, 50 to 70 pounds. I can't remember just by like by working out because obviously she had to be a certain weight or whatever. And he was able to get that off of her. So, uh, but my, the answer to that is, I personally don't, I just don't like working out. It's hard. I know I'm gonna have to work out a little bit, just go around, but, and also, surgery, working out does not give you a surgery look. It can make you lose weight. It can make you look better, but it can't give you that. It can't give you this. I don't care no what, it cannot give you this. It can't get, you know what I'm saying? It just can't do that. Like, no no amount, no amount of working out could give you that look if that's what you're going for. Um, did you get a BBL for shaping purposes? I did. I did. And uh, like I said before, I didn't get like all of my fat injected. I just got fat injected to the top, to fill out the top because it was kind of flat at the top and then projected to the sides. I didn't get any to the bottom, which I'm glad I didn't because I was going for a more natural look anyway. So I still got my same natural like cuff, but everything else is like, it's just all rounded out. So yeah, I got it for shaving purposes. And then with the last, I just kind of wanted to be a little more, you know, not for a bigger butt, I like my butt. What was your experience? I'm sorry, I cannot read my own handwriting. What? Okay, sorry. What was your experience the morning of surgery? Um, The morning of surgery. Like I said in the video, for some reason, I just really did not feel like I was gonna wake up. Not to say I didn't feel like I was, but the first go around, I didn't have that feeling. And one thing about me, I'm very, very intuitive. So it's like, I take my feelings very seriously. And I don't know why, but I just had a, just a slight fear of not waking up. Like, I don't know. So um, that morning, but believe it or not, I handled it very well. I wasn't nervous or nothing. Like I got there, as you can see in the video, I was playing around, up there, dancing, like, I don't know, like, but, 
They, um, sorry. I got there at 7.15. I was supposed to be there at 7.30. They called me. As soon as I got in the parking lot, I asked, could I come earlier? I was like, okay, yeah, because I'm already here. So I went up there, just waiting. I was in a really great mood. Um, the lady that took my pee for the drug test, pregnancy test, all that good stuff, she was really nice. Um, we were just up there talking and stuff while she was waiting on the results or whatever. Um, telling me her mind of her daughter and stuff, all that good stuff. Um, everybody was really, really nice. The morning of surgery. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm winded. Um, you know, it was, I was, it's like I was nervous, but I wasn't nervous. Only thing I was, when I started to feel some type of way is when I actually laid on the table. Because I told y'all last time it was really simple. They put it in my arm, told me what I would feel, I went to sleep. This time, I was awake for a little too long. Like, I felt them scrapping my legs, like putting the thing the things around my legs, scrapping my legs down, scrapping my arms down. I didn't like that, it kinda, <laughs> like, I know they did that, but they didn't, you know, last time I was asleep before they did that, so I'm like, damn, like, you know, I'm, I'm laying there, like. And I think my, I don't know, I remember when I was going to sleep, my eyes, like, low-key didn't wanna close, like, they were, like, fighting, and when I woke up, I had tape in my eyes, so I think my damn, I think this eye wouldn't close, <laughs> and it had to tape it closed, but, yeah, um, it was, it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was just feeling, I don't know. It was one of the things where I want to tell people, I put everything in God's hand. Like, yes, I was nervous about not waking up. At the same time, I was not like freaking out, heart beating fast, like didn't want to do it. It's kind of like one of the things where if he ready for me to go, then I'm, it's time for me to go, you know? But yeah, is the pain as bad as people make it seem? Honestly, yes, it is. <laughs> only because everywhere that was treated or touched in any type of way you feel it so that's your whole uh stomach abdominal your your waist your entire back your butt your hips all of that that shit hurt and all you really got is your arms to push yourself up you know so yes it is as bad as people make it seem um for the first couple hours after the fact it's bearable you know after six hours it was pretty bearable with medicine. The medicine didn't take the pain away, but it made it a lot better. It's really just a matter of being uncomfortable. But, and I think if it was my first round, if I got a BBL the first round, I would've been fine. It's the fact that the lipo was, I was on my second round of lipo while adding on to the BBL pain. I think that's what it really was. But, so my experience. What made you get a BBL? Are you happy with your current results? I am happy with my current results. It's only been a week, but when I was asked this question, it was about, I was at four days post op. I was happy then as well because the first go round, it took a while for me to get this going on. This time I have this whole concert thing going on already. Um, and also, what made me get a BBL? Um, like I said, I just wanted to shape, I wanted my butt to be shaped a little differently. I wanted more of a shelf at the top and a little more projection to the sides. And um and I wanted, you know, nice you know hips. <laughs> um and then also I was gonna get the light bulb anyway. I, I was I think this time I was just like it's only an extra thousand dollars to get a BBL. So I was like I think I would just go ahead and add it on. You know, it was kinda like one of those type of things. I added it on like a week before because I just couldn't decide. How much did you spend on everything? How much extra did you take? Um, like I said before, on everything surgery-wise, like that procedure-wise, $48.28. And I said, cool, then $100 COVID test you had to pay today. Uh, how much extra money did I take? I only stayed two days post-op. So I left on my second day post-op. And being that we went to the grocery store before, I didn't spend a lot on groceries. Um, I just got a few things, some soups some fruit and some drink or whatever because I had already went grocery shopping here for when I wanted to come back um how much did I take I think I took maybe 500 and a lot of people always say oh make sure you have at least a thousand fifteen hundred and it's kind of one of the things where it depends on how long you're staying you know and I don't know but being that I was with my mom a lot of expenses were already taken care of. That's why I only had that much. But I think even last time I didn't take, I don't know, I don't be staying that long. So I only took like 500 extra. And when I was there, the only thing I really bought was a little bit of groceries. Like I said, um, I bought a new Faha. I had to pay for the COVID test, but I guess that don't really count. 
Um, I don't know, I just got some food here and there, but you, I didn't really go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't really need to take a lot of money. Uh, you know, I didn't go nowhere. I was there recovering, waiting to go home. How did you feel knowing it's surgery day? Any nervousness? Um, the morning of, I was, I don't know. I, <laughs> I was just kind of, I was kind of worrisome. Like I said, I was worrisome. Um, I was a little nervous, but not really. Like, I don't know. I'm just one of the type of people, I don't show my nervousness. Like, the way I show it is by laughing and playing and stuff. As you can see, I did a lot of that in the morning, the day of surgery. I don't know. <laughs> did you have to pay extra for hips? Did you have to pay extra for extra hips and lat and little lats? I'm not sure what you mean by that. But when you, if you want hips and or lats, no matter how much you want, no matter whether you only want hips, not lats, whether you want both, whatever, that is included in the BBL. So if you're getting a BBL and you want a little bit of lats but a lot of hips, that's all included. So no matter like what portion, you know, how you want a portion that is included, at least it was here. I don't know about other surgery centers. Um, but yeah. How long was it before you were able to deal with the pain well enough to do things alone? Um, I came home two days post op. I was able to pretty much do things alone. It was just kind of hard to put on my socks because you have to stand up to put on socks. It was hard to clean my dog's room because I couldn't be down that much. And I could clean the kitchen, but I had to like take breaks. Um, and so I had somebody do that for me like, the third my third day my third day post up but by like three four days you're able to fully do things alone it may take a while maybe tiresome but three to four days i was able to do things alone even drive i shouldn't be but you know i gotta do what you gotta do are you happy with the decision of picking simmons and what made you pick um yes i was happy both times with simmons what made me pick was when you do your research for your doctor it's best to find a doctor that has done work on people that has a body type that's similar to yours. And he, he's done like, you know, just lipo itself on a lot of people that look like me body wise. So that's what made me pick. That's what should always make you pick. You have to do your research and see, you know, okay, he does a lot of people that look somewhat like me, you know, and not just all skinny girls because in knowing that you're not, you know what I'm saying? So if I see somebody, you know, that looks just like me, it's kind of like, okay, her BMI, is around the same as mine, blah, 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 such and such, da, da, da. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I was extremely happy with going with him both times. Um, no regrets. Did you get put to sleep slash general or local anesthesia? Yes, I did get put to sleep. Um, under general anesthesia, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have any bruises? Honestly, Surprisingly, this time I have no bruises. And my masseuse said that. It's raining so hard. My masseuse said that. She said, You have no bruising. I said, Wow, because last time my stomach was bruised bad. And my back, but my stomach was really black. And my back was really black. But this time I don't have any bruises. Only bruises I have are the tiny little, um, well, right now I do have a tiny bruise kind of where my um, ad board sits, closer to under my stomach. And it's also a tiny pocket of fluid just sitting right there. That's like the only bruise I have. But other than that, it's just the bruises from like my incisions, the little tiny little dots. Um, it's the only bruise that I have. Are you able to fit the same size pants slash jeans or is it too early to tell? It's honestly too early to tell, but I have, I really, I want to know that too. I, <laughs> I want to try them on now though, because I could, you know, ruin the fat or whatever. But when I find out, first of all, when I heal, we're gonna do so many try on hauls. Y'all know I love me a try on. <laughs> I wanna do a huge one because I can't wait. But um, I'm almost like, oh, your pants are gonna fit like mine. They're gonna, um, they're basically, she, her, what her pants is, they fit all the way up till they get up here, and then they be like all the way up here, and then when they get to her waist, they be too big, and you have like that gap. But hey, that's a problem I wanna have. Not a, not the problem where we sit down and your whole crack out. I'm crazy. <laughs> is your butt hard at first and then it softens up yes um i mean that i don't like i said i only got the top filled out it's just really hard and round it is round now it's hard as hell it's gonna get soft in a couple of weeks and i can't wait but i can't say when i be having my fall off and i'll be like walking back and forth to my room to get in the shower and stuff 
it's starting to jiggle like at the top where the shelf at it's starting to jiggle it's starting to jiggle y'all but that was the last question um y'all asked some really 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 good questions i was really excited to do this video i just had to get enough energy to actually do it but i'm about to drop it right now i still gotta do the other video i was telling y'all about because that video is gonna be very informational i just gotta get all my stuff together um because i would like it to flow or whatever but yeah y'all i'm very pleased so far i really really am because even when i take this faha off i look exactly how i look in this faha um i try my best to wear my boards and stuff to sleep well really at home period because i'm always at home so i try my best to always have my phones and boards in but yeah oh my gosh let me take my hair out. I hate that I can't sit because I can't go get my toes done. I can't get my nails done. Can't get my hair done. So there's no point in me taking it out because I can't get it done. Y'all, I'm just. Whew. I'm trying. I'm trying. I just can't wait till my bed come. And then maybe I can be a little more comfortable because this is. I'm struggling. And I love up that I don't have no fat at the bottom so I can somewhat sit. Or somewhat, not really sit, but you know, I can sit on the toilet and kind of lean forward and then just get right up. Or, you know, how I was sitting. Like, when I'm sitting on, if, I, I'm, if I'm on the floor, with my knees on the floor, I can kind of open my legs and kind of sit like that and not have my butt to the floor at all. But this is not for the week. If you're anything like me and used to being around, moving around, driving, all that good stuff, girl, how are you a driver? Cause, and even then, like, my car's so damn small. When I have a driver, I hate being in the car, like, ass be tooted up to the damn windshield. People just be looking. It's, it's, it's annoying. It's very annoying. But, I, you know, it is what it is. And they go, it ain't. Um, but, yeah, yeah. So, that's about it. I hope what well, I did answer all y'all questions. Um. I'm very pleased, so I just can't wait to heal. Girl, I'm telling you right now, I'm showing my bare ass when I heal. And that's just that. But anywho, like and comment and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this is very informational for you all. Um, Like I said, I have a couple. I still have the informational video um, talking about really going into detail about these prices. What you really do need, what you really don't need. All of that good stuff. How new life goes. You know, pay, payments, payment plans, all that good stuff. Ugh, I just gotta. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just gotta, you know, I gotta do it. So. Oh, yeah. See you in the next video.